Hey, it's your buddy, Big Ed. Uh, so, it's the first sunny day in two weeks. Got some good light in the room. I'm gonna do a new video on the Neural DSP Quad Cortex. I am all in. As you know, if you've been following my page, I've tried virtually every modeling device out there and have written about them for American Songwriter Magazine. I have tried to use them because I've been you know, professional musician for 30 plus years now. So I've been trying to find one to take on the road and use regularly. And they all have their pluses and minuses, but someone turned me on to the quad cortex and I'm happy they did because I think the quad cortex is just a little bit, well, maybe more than a little bit above the rest when it comes to the feel of the amp modeling. There's definitely more heft. There's definitely more bottom, if you will, but it's a little bit more than bottom. It's it has a little bit to do with the feel as well, the three-dimensionality, the depth. Now, I know if you see side-by-side uh, -side comparisons on YouTube and whatnot, that in the gainier settings, a lot of these sound very similar or can be made to sound similar. But what I've noticed about the quad cortex is I get that heft, that depth, that three-dimensionality with lower gain. And here's a little tip for most of you. Some of you know this, but if you don't, more gain is usually too much in most situations. I would say 75% of the time when people are using a lot of gain, it's unnecessary in recordings. It kind of sounds fake, um, unless it's heavy music. If it's heavy music, woohoo, turn it up. Um, I'm a big heavy metal, black metal, doom metal fan. That's cool. But in most, most professional recording situations, too much gain is too much gain. So anyway, I found the quad cortex. I've spent about a week with it. I find that each day I'm tweaking a little bit more, not so much the sound. Um, I kind of got an acoustic sound and an electric sound for the road so I can play acoustic and electric, plug the acoustic into input two, plug the electric into input one or the lap steel and just go. And then just switch between uh, presets and I'm, and I'm good. I've also employed in my electric rig, I've got a couple different things going on. So on two of my presets, I'm in stomp box mode, but in one preset called Lone Star Scenes, which I um, kind of took from John Cordy's preset that he has at the Quad Cortex site and adapted it to my own because a lot of those were too gainy for me. Um, so, but because he had set most of the gain on the amps in scenes, and this is what I'm getting at, that one, I use scenes. Now, all of my presets are up as at the Quad Cortex Cloud and including my Lone Star Scenes, which is adapted from John Cordy, just with lower gains. Now, doesn't mean I don't have gain in there. There's some gain, because the Lone Star seems to me to be a gainier amp. All right, enough of the jibba-jabba. I'm just going to um, move the camera. We're recording into Pro Tools directly from the Quad Cortex XLR outputs right into Pro Tools, nothing else. Nothing else, no post-production, nothing, no EQ, crap, nothing. You're gonna hear what I'm gonna be using on the road and what I've come up with over the last week. Again, I said, you know, I, I'm tweaking it every day, but those are more like routing things and little adjustments um, as I come up with new ideas, which is the cool thing about the Quad Cortex. I'm very impressed. All right, let's go. I'm just gonna do a brief demonstration just to give you the sounds, okay? Again, find them at the cloud. So as you'll see here, 
I usually, I'm going to be running into a Chula Boost when I play live. Um, and then a Clinch FX EP Pre. I won't be using those here, but I will demonstrate them at the end to show you what difference they make. I also will, um, should let you know that all of my presets or all of the neural DSP sounds that you can achieve with this um, roll off with the volume knob really well and then you put the chula in front and it really rolls off. And I just feel that the EP Pre adds a little bit of heft. This is the Clinch FX EP Pre. I've tried all the EP Pre's and this is the best. That really helps the acoustic sound for me. It just gives it that low mid bump. And it also tends to roll off a little bit of the highs, which I find with modelers and acoustic guitars actually really helps. So anyway, that's, that's that. So this is my quad cortex. So my first uh, preset is cleaner-ish. Um, it's in stomp box mode. As I mentioned before, it's got a lot of cool stuff that can all be turned on and off via stomp switches. So let's do a little quick demonstration. So now we'll switch uh, to um, my crunchy electric guitar sound. Again, we're in stomp box mode with a lot of the similar stuff, but a different sound.
And now for acoustic. And last but not least, here is my Lone Star Scenes that I said, like, I uh, got from John Cordy, John Nathan Cordy. Uh, he had uploaded them to the Quad Cortex Cloud, and I adapted them for my own. So I'm just going to put it in scene mode and start clicking on different scenes. It's just slightly different gains and different combinations of effects, which is a cool feature of the Quad Cortex. And then I'll go back to my main sound and put the uh, Chula and EP Pre on. By the way, I should say that the Chula I have, it's not really a Chula, it's a Les Louis um, clone by Alchemy Audio, um, 120 bucks, one of the best uh, money I've spent um, because it's just gorgeous um, and I run it with both channels on because I think the second channel does give it some heft even though people say it doesn't do anything like as far as boost. Okay, so uh, we'll get there in a second. So here's Lone Star Scenes. Scene one. So now we're back to the cleaner-ish setting and I'm going to run the Chula and the EP free. Okay, so this is without it.
and now rolling off. So there you have it, um, just really quick, brief, kind of just to give you a feel for the sounds I was going for. Um, again, they're all up at my profile at Neural DSP Cloud. Um, you can get John Nathan Cordy's original Lone Star Scenes, which is a lot more gain and less effects because I added a bunch of stuff. I added a lot of stuff. Or mine with different ODs and gain structures on the first four um, switches, the A, B, E, and F switches, the first four to your left. And then my other two presets, the Crunchy Guitar and Cleaner cleaner-ish, I think I call it, is uh, they're up in stomp mode. And the acoustic uh, preset is up, but you need to go to the Acoustic IR website. It's a free IR download website and download the two IRs I used if you want that exact sound or just download anything you want and use it in the cab section of that preset. I've got two. I've got the um, Dark Lady Loud in, in the left and uh, uh, a J25 a Highlander in the right, I believe it is. And they're balanced um, level-wise against each other because they each add their own thing. I think that's important. And um, the EQ is really important with the acoustics and again, the EP pre, the clinch effects EP pre seems to make a big difference to me on acoustic. I know you didn't hear it on acoustic, but you heard it on electric and it makes even a bigger difference on acoustic. So that's it. I'm all in. I'm all in. I would much rather take this 12 by 8 box with me and do everything I need to do. I've even put an FX loop in all of my patches now since I uploaded them, they won't be there, but you can do it easily. In case I need to put a volume pedal, I haven't decided yet, but I might put a volume pedal after the gain blocks in all of my patches, including the acoustic. So if you wanna do that, there's room for that. I think I'm using 43 to 48% of the DSP, so no issues there. What I did in a couple of them is I did put uh, gain blocks in to, in the acoustic, I put a gain block in to bring it up to the same level as my electric, but my electric was diming the uh, converters because you'll see it uh, in the neural DSP uh, quad cortex. And so I used a gain block, a, a gain module after the amp block to bring down so that the, I was basically around minus eight to minus 10 on the meter. Why? Because there's one patch where, actually both of my electric patches, there's one setting where I use an expression pedal in these uh, presets to go fully wet on the delay and the reverb just for one song. And I noticed, and I might use it for more than one song, but I noticed that when you do that, it dimes the gain of the converters by like 10 dB. So if I wasn't eight to 10 dB down, I'd be in the red. So the acoustic and the electric dynamically by perceived volume are pretty close because the acoustic will be probably like five LUFS less. It would appear on a meter, but 
to the ear, the perceived volume is pretty close, and they're both showing up minus 10 on the output of the quad cortex. I know, way too much information. Anyway, I love it. Thanks for watching.